All right, in this video, we're gonna be getting the HTML and the CSS ready to go, as well as the camera. So let's start. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is the HTML, which is pretty easy. We're gonna start with a main. So I can just use Emmet and say main. And then I'm gonna do video, or actually I'm gonna do an H1. And I'm gonna say machine learning. And I'm gonna do a video. And this video is going to have not an SRC, but it will have a width of 600 and a height of 480, if I can type in the equal sign. <laughs> and we're also going to have an H2 under here. And for right now, we'll just say loading. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's looking fine. So now we're gonna do our CSS. And we'll move this a little bit down because we don't need it as much. So let's do our CSS. And we're gonna say main. It's gonna have a width of 100%, height of 100 viewports. So that just means 100%. So it's just gonna take up all of the space our main is padding of zero box sizing border box which means it's not gonna the width the padding and all that's not going to be included in the size calculation and we're just going to say position absolute okay and we're going to say video oops video this will be for the video and we're gonna say display block and margin 20 pixels top and bottom and auto and I'm gonna put a border just so you can see what that does solid gray one pixel so you can see it centers the video so if I were to move this a little this way you can see the video centered so that's why we're doing that I'm gonna take out the border I just wanted to show you what that does. And then for our H1 and our H2, we want text align center because we want them to be centered. And then for our H1, we want the font size to be 40 pixels. And for our H2, we want the font size to be 20 pixels. And that looks good there. So we're looking good there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a variable in our Swelt called video, EL, and that stands for element. That's just my way of doing that. And we're going to bind that to our video. So basically this will equal the uh, video element. Or the video element will be represented for this. So this would be like essentially saying equals document dot get element by ID and if we had a um, this is basically a shorthand for that so now we have that which is good next thing we need to do is we need to import our on mount so I'm going to do that above here and what on mount does is basically runs when the document is ready to load and we just import that from Swelt and then we want to say on mount and this is going to be an async function later on, but for right now we'll just make it, we won't make it an async function. And the first, actually we will because we need to request access to the video. So we will. So we will make this an async function and we're gonna get the stream the video. So we're gonna say await and then navigator, which contains all the special HTML Five stuff and then get user media get user media you can see we got the handy handy auto completion which is really nice trust me video true so this will get the uh, stream from the video player and then what we want to do is we want to say video el dot src object equals stream and we're really close because the only thing left to do is say video el dot play 
All right, so I paused the video there because I wanted to show you what happens. Um, I already had approved the uh, camera, so I wanted to show you what happens when you approve it. And first I want to show you what happens when you don't approve it. So if you click block, you can see we have this uncaught exception right here. So this isn't good. So the way you would remedy that is if the user doesn't allow the camera for whatever reason, you would do a try and a catch. And you always want to do this with uh, promises when you're using async await. And you can just console. We're just going to console.log. Um, console.log error. Um, and we'll log the error. We'll say camera access denied. And you can see we got camera access denied. And we'll go back here to our manage and we'll go to our local host, just right here. We'll delete that. And this is what happens if you allow. And you can see it works like so. So you do need a try catch. What you could say um, if you wanted something like this, just as an example, let error message. And you could say, error message equals camera access denied. And then you could just say, you could just add this and we'll just do this. If error message equals that, we'll do an if and we'll put this in an H2. We'll say camera, and we'll just say error message instead of that. And let's see. So if hmm, that should have worked, I wonder what's going on. So we're getting the error, camera access denied, and Oh, there it is. So it was under that. Okay. So that's good. And then we could also, um, we could also style this just cause we want to be a little fancy red just so the user knows, Hey, there's an error with this. Okay. So we'll leave that in like so, but I just wanted to show you how to handle the error state as well. Cause that's important. And I'm going to flip this back to allow so that this will work and we'll refresh we'll click allow and you can see me <laughs> hope you guys are doing well and i will uh catch you in the next video i just wanted to show you how to do that and just how to handle some of the error states